Hi, everybody. Welcome to Pace Studio on the Road. We're here in Los Angeles at the Hotel Cafe with Gabby Moreno. Gabby, thank you for being here today. Thank you so much. Yeah. So excited. Yeah, this is. It feels great to be here in an actual actual space with you. Um, the sound check has been delightful so far, and thank uh, you. yeah, we're gonna share some of your music with the internet. What is what's first today? All right. Well, this first song is uh, from actually the last album that I put out of original music, which uh, is an album called Illusion, which means illusion, and uh, the song is called Illusion. So, the title of the album. I once would receive invitations for cocktails on top of the Ritz. I take without hesitation all of the glamour and glitz, but I'll let you in. On a secret Diamonds are just little rocks At broad daylight They sparkle so bright There's not much to see in the dark I once had a vintage Ferrari But I gave it to Jean-Luc Godard Crossed many seas on a hot air balloon to spoon feed the lion's caviar I soon developed an interest To come home and kick off my shoes Crank up my old Vitrola Cause there's nothing like feeling the blues Nothing can ease the heartache that boy gone away The Ritz is no fun At a table for one It's all folly and phony I say I've meditated with Gandhi Then sailed to Bali for an afternoon swim Still couldn't shake off the longing For one more tomorrow with him So I'll drink a toast to the memories Of all that we used to be Cause all that I have are these daydreams Until he comes back to me Thank you, Gabby. Thanks so much. Yeah, this feels really good. This is exactly what I want to do on my Saturday afternoon. Thank you for sharing this music with us. Yeah. Um, we're hearing a uh, like a very representative sample of your entire catalog. That was from the 2016 album. Yeah. Um, we're about to dive into to Spangled right yes. now. We're going to hear one from the 2012 album. Can you talk about the uh, the collaboration? process with Van Dyke Parks? And that's, I mean, anytime I can say Van Dyke Parks and Jackson Brown in the same sentence, that's a pretty good sentence. Um, how did that come to be and what was it like doing uh, that? Insanity, yes. Um, all right, well, I met Van Dyke um, a little over 10 years ago here 
in, in LA and we just um, we were playing a show together. We were we were part of a uh, a residency that that a friend a mutual friend of ours was doing, and so we we happened to meet the day that we were playing together and. And we started talking about um, just music from Latin America, and, and, and he was telling me how much he, he loved that music. And um, it, basically, that, that's where it all began. We started talking about this, this idea of making an album someday with, you know, just songs from different parts of Latin America. And, and uh, he started sending me songs. I started send, sending him some ideas as well. But he sent me this song that, um, that was recorded in... I believe it's 1980 for a movie called The Border with Jack Nicholson, and and it's a song called Across the Borderline that he um, he played on, on on this recording, and it's a song written by Ry Cooter, John Hyatt, and uh, and Jim Dickinson, and um, and it's just such a beautiful song. The moment I heard it, I was like, wow, this is just the the, the lyrics are just so um, so powerful and. Uh, and it's amazing that after all these years, it's it's still so relevant. Um, so so we decided to include the song on the album, and Jackson Brown sang sang it with me as a duet. So it was it was amazing. We released it as the first single, and yeah, the album came out uh, at the end of 2019. And there is a video that you can check out where where I sing it with Jackson, and and Van Dyke is there conducting the orchestra. Because uh, all the songs were, of course, done um, with full orchestral arrangements of his. And uh, they're all brilliant. So, yeah, it was a big honor to work with him. And yeah. um, I'm going to play this, this song from that album. So this is Across the Borderline. <laughs> There's a place where I've been told Every street is paved with gold And it's just across the borderline And when it's time to take your turn Here's lesson you must learn You could lose More than you'll ever hope To find When you reach The broken Promised land Every dream Slips through your hand Then you'll know It's too late change your mind Cause you've paid the price to come so far Just to wind up where you are and you're still just across the borderline Tenemos que cruzar este río que nos llama más allá. Across the borderline 
acoustic version of the song <laughs> man that sounds great how do you feel about the acoustic version of it i feel very good about it uh, i feel good because i have played it um i have played it before like this so yeah it's funny because um after we recorded that song and after we did the the video which was with like the all all of the musicians the whole orchestra i don't think we've ever performed that song with like the full orchestral arrangement so I'm so used to playing it like this, but I do miss hearing like, you know, all the other instruments. So just just go check out the the the, the recorded version. It's totally different and it's really, really beautiful what, what Van Dyke did to it. Yeah, well, well, we will stay tuned and keep our fingers crossed for the time <laughs> that it is actually possible to get together with a full orchestra and present oh, the music yes. that way. Um, but it sounds wonderful, I and mean, it's the hallmark of a, of a great song. I mean, any, any iteration that you present it in, it sounds wonderful. Um, Thank you. Thank and you. Can, we, can we talk a little bit about your, uh, your production shops? So you've uh, been producing, <laughs> in addition to, to what you do with your own music, uh, have been working with other artists uh, in the producer's chair. What, um, yeah. who have you been working with? And uh... um, Well, I, I have been working for the past year. I have been producing, I, I just, I started getting into more, more of, you know, more of that, more production. I just really love it. I, in the past I have, I have produced my own records, but then I thought, wow, it would be really great to start producing for other artists. So the last year I've been producing um, a legendary Cuban singer, um, Omara Portundo. She, uh, she, she's 90 years old and just the most incredible singer you'll ever hear. She's still singing the same way she did like 30 years ago. And, um, and it's a very special album. Uh, it's uh, all duets with different artists. I, I think I can already say that there will be a duet with, uh, with Dionne Warwick. And it's the first time that Omara will be singing in English. She has like, a career that spans like 60 years and and in all those years like she's put out so many amazing albums and she was part of Buena Vista Social Club when that came out and uh, and this is the first time that she will be singing in English on that one song then the rest of the songs are in Spanish and collaborations with other incredible artists so I'm just I'm so honored to to be producing this this album it's just, it's monumental to me it really is there's that that Ry Cooter connection there as well right with, there's with yeah there's that Ry Cooter connection too yes Yes. Yeah. Well, this sounds wonderful. Um, thank you for sharing the music. Thank you for chatting with us. There's a lot more music to be shared with the internet right now. What's coming up next? Yeah. All right. So I decided to go um, way back to my album called Postales, which came out in 2012. This was a this was the first album that I put out completely in Spanish, and uh, and so I want to play a song from there. It's um, it's sort of like my my bluesy song in Spanish. It's called Plus de Mar. Plus de Mar Sal de Miel Poca ropa, viento en popa y yo sin ti, sin tu luz, sin la soga de tus brazos justo aquí, tan justito aquí, tan pegado aquí. Tan fundido aquí, aquí junto a mí. Luz de mar, luz de gris. Tanto espacio, tanta ausencia y yo sin ti. Sin 
That sounds great, and the uh, the traffic on Coenga um, par uh, basically cooperated. Yes. Cooperated. That was nice. There's no uh, no sirens, no any of that kind of stuff. <laughs> it sounded wonderful. Um, we so as though you are not busy enough with your own music and with producing uh, music for other artists. Um, they've also been doing some composing for film. Can you talk a bit about those projects? Yeah, it's um, it's wild because it's the first time i mean i okay so it's the first time that i that i that i compose for for a movie um it's a little indie film that um is produced by the duplass brothers and uh it stars natalie morales and mark duplass and natalie morales directed and actually her and mark co-wrote it and and it's a really incredible film natalie i met um a few years ago well i would say a few years like 10 years ago or so uh, because she was part of Parks and Recreation, and I, I co-wrote the theme song of Parks and Recreation. And so we, we met then, and just out of the blue, last year, she emailed me, and she was like, hey, like, I, I have this, this film that, you know, has a lot of heart that we're working on, and, and we'd love to see if you'd like to compose some music for it. And I, of course, jumped and said yes. Um, and it was a really, really amazing experience. It's the first time, like I said, that I did something like that. Uh, the movie, I hope, will come out soon. It, it has premiered on a couple of festivals, South by Southwest. It won the uh, Audience Award there and uh, the Berlin Now Festival. It, it, was, it was also shown there. And it's called Language Lessons. So... Does it feel like, I mean, uh, do you, is it, does it scratch the same sort of creative muscle when you're, when you're composing for film versus when you're, when you're writing songs for, uh, that are not for film? Or is it, a, or is it a totally different thing for you? Um, you know, I, f I felt the whole process was, was not that different than, than just writing songs for myself. Um, the only thing is that you, you do have something visual in, 
visual in front of you that you can get i don't know i, I don't know how to describe it but like it, it just it's just you're you're composing to like a a story that's right in front of you and uh, it's you know maybe it's a little easier <laughs> i don't know but um but uh, it was it was uh same it was the same kind of uh you know rewarding experience and and of course it's all instrumental although i did end up writing a song for the end credits and a brand new song and that uh that was really fun too cuz you know it's the first time that i write a song for a movie and um yeah it was it was really fun to do so hope hope to be able to show it to all of you guys very soon yeah good well i'm glad that you got to have that experience we appreciate you sharing your music with us today Thank and you. um Thanks there's some me. brand new unreleased music to be shared yes. next right yes um so I have been performing this song, you know, for I would say maybe a couple of years, but I still haven't recorded it. So I hope to be able to put it on a, a new album that I'm working on um, that I hope to release later this year. I do have, I am working on a single that will come out in the next couple of months. But this song, uh, this is not, this song won't be the single, but this song will, will be on that album. And it's just, um, I don't know, it's a very, um, important song important message for me to get out it's um it's it, i i wrote it just to you know um talk about the uh the issues of of migration that are happening right now the um the very dangerous that a lot of family d dangerous journeys that that families are taking you know um across mexico to 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 come to the united states and um it's just uh, it just breaks my heart it, it, to see to see what they they have to go through and uh, how desperate they must be to you know leave everything they know leave everything behind their families um, just to find a better life and just to find some shelter so so I wrote the song about that it's called Till Waking Light. Thanks. So. Wandering in the darkness, neath the moonlight, still in harvest, shining down. Weary souls are searching for a shelter somewhere far from broken ground. We don't know what's coming or what lies beyond the bend. Whispers gently while the roaring of the engine shakes our hearts. Deep despair in silence, praying fate won't ever find us apart. All of the unknowing has is bursting at the seams. Still safe in our dreams Still waking light Fuerte ruge el viento que detiene casi el tiempo en tu mirar Que no encuentra la calma solo en tu mirar Claro es tu remanso como el cielo que te di
upon us Baby, don't you weep Cause we'll be carried up on freedom's wings And we'll fly away Till waking light Till waking light Thank you. All right. Gabby, this has been great. Thank you for starting our Saturday like this. Um, thanks for sharing the music. This is a nice representative sample of the last decade of your, of your catalog. Yeah. And we'll stay tuned for new music. It's there's I don't, don't I don't think there's a specific date, but new music out later this year. New is music the... out later this year. I do have a um, a live a in person concert. This will be the first time in like a year and a half that I will be doing this. Um, it will be at in Felton, California. And uh, I'm opening for Taj Mahal. I think it's on July 3rd. Um, I have all that info on, on my socials, so if you want to check it out, it's um, on my Instagram and Facebook and all that. Nice. Well, best of yeah. luck on the new music. Tell Taj Mahal we said hi. That sounds like a, <laughs> yeah. a ton of fun. Um, and drive safely. Be safe in general in the world. Thank, Thank you. you so much Thank for doing this. Thank you so this. much. Thanks for having me, you guys. All right. Thank you.